this just arrived and I thought that I might as well do a spontaneous unboxing video. Hey everyone, Anthony here, and in this video I'm going to be reviewing my new video tripod, the Viltrox VX18M. I've been needing a proper video tripod for a while now, and I'm gonna go off on a bit of a tangent, but this is my old tripod. It's from a company called Bonphoto, whatever that means. This tripod has some things going for it. For example, this leg detaches to become a monopod, which is pretty nifty. This tripod is also super small and lightweight, as you can see, and that always made it really easy for me to just stuff it in my backpack and bring it places. However, that is also why I don't like it. My camera can get pretty heavy at times, especially when I've got a battery pack, microphone, the lens, all of that attached. So since this tripod is so lightweight, it always felt really easy to knock it over and just send all of my camera gear crashing to the ground. Obviously, I don't want that. Not only that, the ball head that comes with this tripod is fine for photography, but you can't really get smooth pans or tilts with it, which are important moves when it comes to video. So the two things that I needed the most out of a new tripod were one, very solid and heavy enough that I wouldn't be able to knock it over, and two, a decent fluid head that I can use for video. My needs aren't really too complicated beyond that, and the Viltrox tripod fulfills them perfectly. The Viltrox tripod is relatively inexpensive at only $130. It comes with this carrying case that feels super high quality, and there's both a handle and a shoulder strap so that you can carry it however you need to. Inside the bag, there is also a compartment for the tripod handle, and there's also a selection of wrenches inside to help tighten various aspects of the tripod, such as the legs, or the quick release plate. As for the tripod itself, it's built entirely of aluminum and plastic, which is fine, I haven't had any problems with it, and it has a max load of 22 pounds, which is definitely enough for most cameras. I even saw that one of the reviewers posted a photo with a red camera on the tripod. So if you're working with cameras at that level, I'm sure this tripod would be fine, although you'd probably be able to afford something more expensive anyway, so yeah. Let's talk about the fluid head. I'm not personally an expert on fluid heads, as this is the first one I've ever owned, but according to some of the Amazon reviews, it's middle of the road as fluid heads go, not the greatest, but also not too bad considering the price. For me personally, I think it's great. It's super smooth, there's good resistance, and if you're a hobbyist like me, you'll probably find this fluid head to be just fine. It is removable though, of course, so if you want to replace it with something nicer, you can go ahead and do that. Now, let's talk about real world use. If I were to just keep this tripod in my room and use it for talking headshots like I am right now, I definitely feel like I was wasting it. So for the past month, I've been making an effort to bring it around and use it as much as possible. Bringing it around is definitely a little more complicated than it was with my old tripod. For example, there's no way this would be able to fit into my backpack. So if you're the kind of person who likes to consolidate all of their gear into one bag, like me, yeah that's probably not going to happen. Just make sure that you have room for it in your car and you should be good to go. Unpacking the tripod and setting it up isn't the fastest process either. For example, you have to take off the handle in order to properly fit it into the bag. So I do have to be a little more deliberate in terms of when I take it down because when I finished packing it up and all of a sudden I have to take it out again to reshoot something, yeah, it's not, it's not the worst feeling in the world, but you know, it's, it's also not the greatest. Bye, thank you. Sure. <laughs> As you can see, the fluid head does not disappoint, and these shots are silky smooth with no jitter whatsoever. To conclude the video, the Viltrox VX18M is a solid tripod for the money. It does everything that I need it to do, and it looks and feels like a professional piece of equipment, which of course it is. If you end up buying this tripod, or if you already own it, let me know what you think of it in the comments down below, but thanks for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next one.